this is where you really start to sense that Caden Herring is just reading the tone of Max Robertson up front. They go through Dunlop. There's still a few damp patches around the course, but Caden Herring has got good confidence coming up to the first corner again. Oh, and down in the background, that's Dickinson. Charlie Dickinson just overstepping. That's exactly what we were talking about. The damp patches, it's so easy to get caught out on cold tyres. Now there is Charlie Dickinson trying to get back to the bike. Unfortunately, authority. Now Preston Baker is going to try and race Kozlowski to the line. Oh my goodness, look at that. Seven thousandths of a second in it between Baker and Kozlowski. And it is Preston Baker that gets there first. Kozlowski pushing so hard he ran onto the grass and it's kicked him off on the grass verge. Further into the race and we can see that Caden Herring is still giving Max Robinson a really hard time as they come off the final turn. Oh, mistake! And that has caused a big issue for Caden Herring. Keep going, keep going, don't fall off. There we go. Caden Herring is going to drop to, I think, third position. Yes, Ella Mosgrove will get through. It's confirmed on the timing screen to the left as well. So Jensen Ansel in front of Kai Hawken and Sam Whitaker. Oh, and there goes Whitaker. It's so easily done. Oh, poor Sam Whitaker. He had such a good chance. I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm just really, really upset. Very solid race. I'll tell you what, Dean Kinsey is actually starting to hustle Max McRae again. So I think the battle for second place could be on any moment now. And it looks as though finally Jack Bednarek has got a little bit of confidence. And back and over goes Philip Lawson. Lawson just goes a proper high side. So easily done, and that's on Luna Bend, which is going to be a very tricky part of the course to go, and that almost catches out Nelson. Here's the replay, just gets on the wet patch, boom, the back end leans over, and he is thrown at Luna Bend. That is such a tough corner to lose out, and the red flag has gone out, we are told. It's uh, not Andre Tadea's race after all, and we thought for a moment that it might be. Oh, and off goes the leader, Jake Smith in the final bend. Brandon Keane able to continue, Jake Smith, disappears from the lead. You can use it as uh, more testing, more track time, and you can learn how to get a little bit more confidence and off. Oh my goodness, that's the leader. Lee Thompson throws it away while leading here at Three Sisters. In the race, this was in very tricky conditions. It had been raining and Martin in second place goes down on the low side and that effectively would end all competition in the race. Callum would go on to take a comfortable victory. Just have another look at it in slow motion. You can see in these conditions, it's very easy to lose the bike. He does just that, but he does bounce up. Shows a lot of character to get the bike up and running again.